you guys listening to now, whether it's local or national bands? I know Tim, I've talked to you a couple times about a lot of different bands. Tim seems to like everybody, though. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. We're, very, we're a very open-minded band, I think, to a lot of new, especially to new music. I mean, I, I, for myself right now, I've been listening to, actually, I've actually been listening to a lot of local stuff. Um, I just grabbed the Emperor's of Bad Luck uh, CD a couple weeks ago. And, yeah, that's pretty good. But I've actually been listening to that a lot. Um, so long this week. One of my favorite bands, or kind of collectively our favorite bands, Catherine Wheel, just came out with a new record called Wishville. So I've been listening to that. I've been listening to this band called uh, The Makers. It's very David Bowie influenced punk rock, very glam, very different. Not like, and it's out on Sub Pop, which is unusual because that's an indie rock label. And then this other band um, from LA called The Exes, which is kind of like um, a glammed up version of Buck Cherry, a little less edge and more um, production. Those are just two like. I got the makers from Jay, he, um, he turned me on to them, and then uh, the X's was just, I, I turned on uh, 101.5, which is the Otterbein Cadre station, and they were playing them, and I found a CD somewhere, some secure record store in Buffalo, so I bought it. Yeah, I've been, I go like from one extreme to the other, I'm like, half the day I'm listening to like, um, Backyard Babies and the Helicopters and like all these Swedish like, hard rock bands, and then the other half of the day, I'm well, like... Swede's not a rock. I'm putting on, like, you know, Catherine Wheel, and the new album's, like, really mellow, and... Or Jeff Buckley. Mid-tempo, or Jeff Buckley, or Blink of the Star. So it's like, I, I can go either way. I mean, I found the more local stuff that I found that's really good is a band from Dayton that broke out. They're called Mink. Yeah, mm. good that stuff. That CD just good CD. kicks ass. I cannot believe that these guys weren't huge. It's um, Mink? Yeah, they're called yeah. Mink. I haven't heard of them. And they broke off. I mean, that, that really sucks. But from what I know, the main guy, the main songwriter in the band is living in New York. He's got a new band, so I'm, I'm anxious to hear something from them. And the Pretty Mighty Mighty CD is, you know, obviously, like, one of the best CDs I've heard all year. Mm -hmm. and local or not local. Yeah. Yeah, I just, it's a, a phenomenally good CD. Yeah, it's a great album. So. I've listened to, uh... I don't listen to a lot of Sunny Day Real Estate. Wait for that new album to come out here soon. And, uh, and uh, the Soft Bulletin by Flaming Lips is yeah. really good. Is it? Yeah, it's an really excellent good. CD. Great album. <laughs> No, I sat outside Polaris and listened to the Kiss show. It was a good one. Because I got lives right by I went to the reunion tour and I paid like, what did I pay? I paid like 100 bucks for my ticket. So, and I enjoyed myself. But after that, I was like, man, I'm not going to be like some kind of wolf, you know, looking for a piece of food and you know, kill other people to get a ticket to go see a concert. I'm like, I saw them, I love them, and that's good enough. So, when they came back, I was like, I'm just going to listen to the show in the parking lot. But they sounded, they actually sounded really, really Other good. shows we've caught in the parking lot? Motley Crue. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz, we could hear all the way from Yeah, we were actually sitting. We, I used to live up there too, and we were sitting outside of Tim and I's apartment. Uh oh, he hit the drum set. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Finally oh, came in. You got, video, you got video evidence. Somewhere that guy. You're done. You're done. You're done. There's a lot of sitting here. <laughs> that guy's sitting somewhere like having a heart attack right now. <laughs> He's watching this. <laughs> but. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, it's, it was a great place to uh, listen to concerts at Polaris. That was at Black Crow's crowd yeah, shop. Black Crow's was so crowds. loud. I think that's what caused the uh, the noise infraction in Westerville. Other than Ted Nugent. Yeah. Those people up there just need to start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Too upset. It's like they're getting free rock. It's a dry shop. Yeah, they got free rock. They keep not going to be able to go to the parking lot now and listen because all these people are complaining. Like, shut, shut the hell Westerville up. Westerville is a dry town. And getting they, free rock shows. Guys, we should probably wrap up so we can get some of the music in for the show here. Ah, forget the music. Forget it. Okay, well, we'll have to keep talking. Let's <laughs> just talk all day. Uh, again, the Stepford Five, and we're at the practice session, but we're going to cut to the live footage here from uh, Little Brothers. So thanks, guys, for being on the show. This is Thank awesome. you. Looking forward to tomorrow night, too. Fire CD. <laughs>